Shiny Shrimps, <clears throat> which is um, an odd little film. So the story is, uh, at the beginning, there is a, there's a professional swimmer who is basically... Uh, He's doing a television interview with somebody. He's, he's somebody who has a problem. He always comes in second. He's not coming in first. He does a television interview with somebody who sort of prods him about well, why is it that you're, you know, you're not doing very well? And he gets angry. And he uses a homophobic slur when in, in order to dismiss the guy. He then finds himself the centre of a scandal that he is uh, told that there's no room for that kind of thing in the sport that you're in. And in order to rehabilitate himself, he must do something to demonstrate that he is at one with the LGBT community. So consequently, he ends up in a position where he has to take on a role as the coach to a gay water polo team who are going to the LGBT Olympics, which are happening in Croatia. Of course, at the beginning of it, he doesn't want to, have, he doesn't want to do it. What he wants to do is concentrate on his swimming career. And he meets the water polo team and he thinks that they're, they're catastrophic. He thinks they're completely all over the place and there isn't any possibility that he can do anything at all. Equally, they're not overly keen to have him because they've seen him on the television, you know, using a homophobic slur. So there's tensions. However, he has a daughter who is with whom he is trying to bond and she is impressed by the team. And one thing leads to another. And inevitably, there is a reconciliation and the feeling that everybody ends up, you know, getting on side. So there's very little in the story that's surprising. There's very there, there's a there, there is a genuine team in the background of this, a real team in the in the background of the story. I think who are the inspiration to whom the film is is dedicated. And there's very little in it that if at the beginning of it, if you stop the film ten minutes in, you couldn't say, okay, map out for me the rest of the plot. However. I mean, it's things like, did you ever see Swimming with Men? Yes. Okay. Well, if you can imagine... We did a big thing about it on the show. I beg your pardon. My memory is not as good as yours. If we did, if you did Swimming with Men crossed with Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, it's kind of got that, okay, got that, that. sensibility to it. There are some problems, which is that, the, you know, the, the characters are very, very stereotyped to the point of cliche. And the, the way in which the narrative plays out is so schematic that, you know, you'd really have to try very hard not to understand where it's going. But, I mean, I kind of liked Swimming With Men. I know that the film didn't find its audience at all, but I mean, I I kind of liked it. But I kind of like this, and I think it's got m a much bigger chance of finding an audience because it's big-hearted and it's a feel-good movie with a message of unity, which is particularly important in these troubled times. And it is often funny. There is also... It's tragic comedy involved in it, and there is tragedy in it. And so, although it's schematic, and although it has you know moments of cliches, it's it, you'd have to be pretty hard-hearted not to be won over or moved by it at all. It's called Shiny Shrimps, which is the name of the water polo team.